Halloween weekend was marked by the standard scary costumes and parties, but also played host to 2K's Evolve in their big alpha weekend. Beginning on October 30th for Xbox One players, the alpha hit some issues for PlayStation 4, delaying its release until November 2nd around 9pm, although many players were still experiencing major lag and matchmaking issues despite its release. For those that got into the game, however, it was a culmination of experiences, ranging from connection issues to matchmaking problems, but for many, it also was the promised epic gameplay. I had a chance to get into the alpha for PC and PS4 later and present my review of how it looks so far. Evolve is an online experience that pits four players against one major monster. The monster aims to feed and grow and eventually evolve, intending to reach stage 3 so they can take down the power relay while the players work to kill the monster before this can happen. Showcased in the alpha were four distinct classes. The Assault, which provides the brunt of the damage with close range and mid range weaponry. The Support, which flirts the line between offense and defense, utilizing high damage weaponry, shield capabilities, scanning, and more. The Trapper, the one responsible for throwing the mobile arena and forcing the monster to fight while having a companion of her own named Daisy. And the Medic, responsible for healing, creating holes in the monster, and slowing them down. Each of these classes has unlockable secondary versions with similar approaches but different weapons and equipment. In the game, the monster intends to feed, evolving and gaining new strength and abilities to take down the power relay at stage 3 or to make it easier to kill all the hunters. Combat in this game is as one would imagine. The monster tries to hide from his enemies while feeding, attacking only when necessary or forced. When fights do break out, it is hectic and crazy, with the monster being extremely hard to bring down and a large tactical requirement being present to bring the beast down effectively, combining the armor piercing rounds of the medic with close range damage of the assault, for example. Once the combat starts, it is all out warfare. That is, without a better phrase, addicting as hell. This, they definitely got right. Unfortunately though, combat isn't as often as one would like, especially once the monster is handled by someone who knows what they are doing. As a monster, they can enter a sneak mode, which makes them incredibly hard to detect, causing the hunters to often fly right by the monsters during fighting. While this is a skillful approach, the size of the map and the lack of really useful tracking measures in the game, with Daisy the Companion being AI controlled and effectively useless most of the time, can quickly turn around into the most annoying game of hide and seek ever. Enhancements to the jetpacks, movement, and more skillful tracking systems is required to really balance out the combat and turn it from a luck based encounter to one of skill and patience. As you got towards the higher levels, monsters tended to win because of just time running out or them getting fully evolved and taking down the relay. Progression in the game is handled through specific feats by each class that range from certain types of damage to using an item a certain number of times. At level 1 you have 3 of these unlocks. Once each of them has been ranked up to the unlock point, the next character for that class has been unlocked as well with their own set of weaponry, while the standard abilities remain the same. Progress seemed well balanced and worked effectively, however the stand points of each division are quite annoying. Just because you need to get more mind damage doesn't mean all the damage done with another weapon should be effectively useless in progressing your character. In the current scheme, until you have unlocked the next progression section, the points don't carry over, making even progression across all three required, which can be quite difficult. For an alpha, the game is actually well polished in many regards. Graphics were strong and pristine, showing up extra clean and crisp on the PC version, and there was little evidence of graphical tearing, audio mishaps, or any other issues with some small exceptions throughout. A most notable being on the PS4 version, where the actual in-game audio seemed to be about half the volume of the menu, causing me to have to turn up my headset every time a game started. Other issues arose that seemed more like alpha glitches, such as matchmaking issues and connection issues, with disconnects, protocol errors, and the standard things you would see showing up every once in a while. There were even circumstances with spawn issues, with monsters spawning in the ground, invisible, or not even spawning in a possible position on the map. However, these were few and far between, and they did not tend to deter from the actual performance of the game. One of the biggest issues for Evolve so far is the matchmaking features and the times. Currently, if someone leaves a queue, everyone is sent back until another player is found. Unless they happen to leave at the class selection screen, in which instead it throws you into the game with bots while hoping to find another replayer that can take over. With the amount of time it takes to load into game, this can still be 2-3 to three minutes into the game if they happen to find somebody immediately, often not showing up for 5-10 to ten minutes in which a round could already be well lost. While well, a nice touch at first, the AI is about as smart as a pack of rocks, and makes the game almost impossible without real players, especially if you're hunters trying to fight a human controlled monster. Furthermore, with having to wait upwards of 10 minutes to get a game going, 
Going into it with bots is extremely frustrating and annoying. Other issues arose in how the menu and its selection systems worked. In the game, you choose your preferences in terms of what class you want, and if you remain within that same group, it's very easy to get stuck playing against a monster who is much better than your collective group. But the problem with this lies in the wait times I've already mentioned. If I have to wait a possible 10 minutes to get back into a game, after already waiting 5 to 6, with no promise you won't have to leave that one due to a glitch or other issue, you end up just forcing yourself to get slaughtered over and over again, kind of reducing the fun factor. All in all, the matchmaking needs a true overhaul to make it smoother and work better with multiple players. As this is just an alpha and they were intending to stress test it, this is a good sequence for them to notice that the servers really can't handle it currently. Now if this were a production version of the game, I'd be disappointed, but for an alpha, it's pretty solid and well structured, with some minor improvements required and an overall stability enhancement, something the alpha was meant to test in the first place being required. Gameplay is fun and energetic, even addicting at times, especially when you get matched up with a good group that keeps the difficulty level perfectly centered. Progress to get that upgraded character is fun as well, to see what new equipment you might get and how it can change the tide of battle. Graphics are what is expected of a game for this generation of development, and the audio is well synced into the game. One interesting note is that those with surround sound headphones are going to be extra pleased, as the end game audio works well with them, and it'll make it that much easier in tracking the monster or other obstacles. With the issue at hand in the PS4 version, the alpha has been extended to Tuesday, November 4th, ending in about the evening for those players. If you haven't yet had a chance to check out the alpha, I highly recommend it, whether it be on the PS4 or the PC. While it may not be geared towards every player, it certainly has great potential to be an awesome game upon release as long as they can fix the stability and matchmaking issues. Go into it knowing that you're going to have some issues connecting, some disconnects, and some of the expected items for an alpha. But once you get into a game and actually get that experience of chasing down that monster, it can be a lot of fun. On a game that looks to be a purely multiplayer experience, the matchmaking issues can definitely be a nail in the coffin they're not fixed before beta time, but I don't see that being a realistic situation. At the end of the day, I was extremely impressed with the Evolve Alpha and am very well looking forward to the game coming out and the beta down the line. As I said, if you haven't had a chance, I highly recommend you check it out. In addition, if you want to see some details on how the different classes work, you can check our other videos, which we'll have linked down in the description, in which I showcase having played all four of the Human and Hunter classes, and including the Monster class as well. Other than that, you can check out some of our other content we have on the channel as well, and look forward in the future as we hope to be doing some Let's Plays of some other games coming up, and some additional content on the website as well, which you can find at urbangamingelite.com. Till then, this is the Red Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.